Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we'll be doing an unboxing of the Jayanagara, the Deccan Empires of medieval India from 1290 to 1398. This is from GMT Games. It's designed by Saverio Spagnoli, Matthew Johnson, Corey Graham, and Amon Matthews, and the game art is by Matthew Johnson. So this is this is not a coin game. Not coin. So that's should be said first and foremost. This is a new series. It is the Irregular Conflicts series, ICS, volume one. This is the first in the series. Um, it seems to be inspired by coin. I'm not sure what the differences is that keep it from being coin, maybe because it's, it's a direct conflict versus uh, an insurgency where coin is counterinsurgency. Um, so that may be why they didn't wanna keep just lumping stuff into coin. But anyway, that is what this is. It's beautiful artwork. Uh, Matthew Johnson did a great job. This is just this is just gorgeous. You can see the elephants here. You have people waiting outside. This I assume this is a a temple of some sort in India, or maybe maybe a palace. I do not know. My Indian history is not very good. But this is one to three players, and it does have a full solitaire system from GMT One. So. Uh, Anyway, let's just, I can keep yakking about it, but let's just dig in and see what you get in the box. So even though it's not officially coin, if you like coin, you're probably gonna like this. Again, but with all, all these kind of games like coin. If you like the theme, you'll like the game. If you don't like the theme, then, you know, you're probably not going to like the game itself because you don't want to play through it. But uh, that's the way it is in most war games anyway. All right. So let's take a look here. All right. Straight off the bat, we have the rules of play. Again, more beautiful artwork. Uh, this is a 20-page rule book. GMT matte finish stock. The usual typeface. Not too big, not too small. Uh, a lot of white space. Let's see how much do we have. A lot of graphics in here to take up space, or is it? Is it mostly not? So obviously, you start with a description of the components, the map, and on through the different options that you have. So this is a 20-page book. Here's and and several pages here are well. I guess these are showing what the counters are. If you ever get a used copy and you want to make sure you have everything. Uh, in fact, it's, it looks like it's one sheet of counters. Because this is the front and this is the back, so cool. Uh, key terms on page 16. It doesn't look like it's very rules dense. Um, if this is your first time playing, you might want to start with the Learn to Play booklet. It's foreshadowing that there's a Learn to Play booklet in here. So we'll need to look at that. Um, do we have an index? Yeah. Uh, victory is on, described on page 14, and the setup starts on page 7, so it's about 8 pages of rules, really. Now we have the rules, the Ibn Battuta card-based non-player rules and reference. And this starts section 6, and gives you an introduction. This is a, another 20 page for the non-player faction or non-player factions, this is for all of them. So this is the card base. Again, similar to coin, but not coin. Not coin! And again, it may just be the difference is it's not counterinsurgency, but a more of a standard battle. But I'm just guessing that. So this just tells you how to run the card-based bot AI. Again, beautiful artwork. That doesn't look like a picture. Well, that one may be. Now we've got the Learn to Play by Joe Dewhurst. We've got another person in the mix here. Teaching how to play the game, introduction, component setup, example of play, and teaching guide. How you want to teach somebody else to play it. This is actually a little bit bigger font, it looks like. Lots of color examples. 16 pages. So now we've gotten smaller on our pages. That tells you how to handle that. And then we've got our playbook, which in this case appears to be a historical background, a guide to the different factions, the event cards, pronunciation guide. Um, Selected sources, designer notes, acknowledgements, and credits. So this is, you know, a standard uh, 
for the most part, GMT games, the playbook is, is that. There are some exceptions. So let's go to the pronunciation guide and see how bad I am here. So it's Vaiji Nugura. Vaiji Nugura. Instead of Gara. Vaiji Nagara. It's nu na, Nagara. Nagara. <sighs> Helpless white boy here. Sorry. Hope I didn't offend anybody with my pronunciations. So those are our booklets. This one is the biggest booklet. It comes in at 28 pages. So now we've got our one. It's a one to three player game. So we've got our three copies of the different factions and their various commands that are available. So it's uh, coded cardstock, double width. So we got the Bamani, Bamani Kingdom, the Vajagarura Empire, Nagura, Nagura Empire, and the Delhi Sultanate, and the Mongol Invaders. They're going to attack everybody. It's beautiful colors. I just love the choices here, that, that gold, that blue, the green, and that red is very nice. So, very cool. So you get three copies of that one for each player, obviously. Then we've got our sequence of play, sequence of play chart. Uh, draw the top card from deck, proceed as follows, depending on the card time, event, Mongol, succession, Timurid Empire card. And then there's the goat tiger game. Interesting, game within a game. And then here's the non-player aid for the three non-player factions, whichever one you're gonna play versus the bots. Tells you how to use the cards. And here's our one sheet of counters. And this is it. And they are pre-rounded. Obviously the rounded ones are pre-rounded, but the, the square ones are pre-rounded. And as we saw in the booklet, this is what the counters were, but here they are. There's a few blank ones there. And then we've got the game board, which we'll take a look at in a second. And then the good old GMT goodness here. We've got the dice and the beautiful colors, beautiful maroon and beige with gold pips. And those got off the deck. So we got six to two, oh, plus eight. So uh, six to six to 10. So I'm sure that's not how that works. Um, so we've got this dice. GMT's famous bag o bags. Uh, we got some cards we'll look at in a second. And then we've got various wooden bits. Got some pawns in there. And we've got our hexes and our round discs and our faction markers. You know. For a non coin game, it's doing a pretty good impersonation of a coin game, at least in terms of the components, right? So Not coin! That. And we'll take a look at that deck of cards. All right, so essentially we've got two decks here. These are the, uh, these are some reference cards and the AI cards. And here we've got our um, main game uh, event draw deck that we're gonna go through. So you've got these that are numbered one through um, 36. And then you've got a collection of these Mongol invasion cards that are gonna go in there as well as the Timurid Empire. And we saw earlier, it tells you how to build your deck. So um, you're obviously gonna put some of these in every now and then and shuffle them up and then uh, we'll see, you know, when they come up, so. But for example, the Mongol army is repelled, stay eligible, Pyrrhic victory, remove up to two flag units from each of the mountain passes in Punjab. And again, just like a Not coin. coin game, it's got the different factions across the top. They're gonna act in that, in that order have a chance to act on it. So again, it's leading to me, leading me to believe that it's inspired by the card-based play of coin. And then just the scenario doesn't, doesn't necessitate the, the naming coin. But again, that's just Kevin assuming, analyzing. So we have tech reference cards here, one for each player along with an icon reference and then the Tuglug Dynasty, the Kalij Dynasty, Kaliji Dynasty, Kalji Dynasty, Lords of Deccan, Rise of Sultans. So just some just some instruction cards, reminder cards. And then we've got our AI cards for the various factions. This will be my favorite because it's KK card. JJ, HH, GG, FF through AA. So. 
All right, so let's take a look at the game board real quick. Turn it sideways, this way probably most solo people will be using it because they'll be sitting on one side so they can reach all of it. It's a very small board. It's only uh, 22 by uh, 17. Um, beautiful colors again. Got the coloring, got the mountain passes, Punjab. All the sectors were you know, named very well. Here's Delhi, uh, the Sultanate, the Mongol invaders are here, the Bamani Kingdom is here, the, the Jainagara Empire is here. So again, the cards, sequence of play, and you know the eligible factions are all right here, you know, flowing across to ineligible, you know, event or command, command and decree, ineligible. So not coin. It's not a coin game. It's not a counterinsurgency. So it's not a coin game. So, but it's a coin game. Uh, I saw people saying that and I thought, yeah, quick saying it's a coin game. They don't say it's a coin game. So I'm like, yeah, it's a coin game. I mean, you know. It's like a Sprite is not a Coke, but you go to a restaurant with friends, you say, hey, I'm gonna get a Coke, what do you want? Oh, I'm gonna get a Sprite. They know what you mean, so. Anyway, let's recap everything that you're going to get in this box. If you pick up a copy of Vijaya Nagura from GMT Games, you're gonna get these, uh, the, the AI cards, the reference cards, the action deck, all in one deck of cards. You're gonna get the bag of wooden pieces, you're going to get these six dice. You're going to get GMT's famous bag o bags You'll get that board that we took a look at. That one sheet, that small half sheet of counters. That's all you need. You're going to get the AI reference cards for each faction. You're going to get the sequence of play and deck construction instructions along with the Goat Tiger game board. You're gonna get three copies of the faction action command cards, which are double width. You're going to get the 28 page playbook, the 20 page, no, 16 page learn to playbook, the 20 page rules and reference for the solo bot rule book, and the 20 page rules of play book. And that is everything that comes in the Jayanagara the Deccan Empires of Medieval India, 1290 to 1398 from GMT Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!